morning, Copper Basin. Today is Thursday, October 1st. I'm Brooklyn. And I'm Tristany. And on today's show, we'll be talking about a canine dog, Russia, a California man, and so Some on more. and so forth. So, let's get the show started. Police in Ottawa are considering pressing charges after a police dog was released from his kennel. The dog belonging to an Eaglewood police officer got loose from the officer's Ottawa home Tuesday. Investigators believe someone intentionally cut into the pen where the dog, where, where, where the dog was kept and let it go. Officers later found the dog named Doc in the area. Now let's go over to weather with Shane. For today's weather, it will be cloudy with a chance of rain in the morning, then rain likely in the afternoon, highs in the 60s. Chance of rain is a 70% chance. Tonight, will be there will be a period of showers, lows in the upper 40s to upper 50s, northeast winds 10 miles per hour or less with a 90% chance of rain. Friday will be rainy, highs in the mid 50s to mid 60s with light winds with an 80% chance of rain. Now that's all for weather, let's go over to World News with Brooklyn. Russian warplanes have begun bombarding Syria op opposition targets in the war-torn nation's north working on behalf of dictator Bashar al-Assad. According to the senior military office official, the official said airstrikes targeted fighters in the vicinity of Homs, located roughly 60 miles east of a Russian naval facility in Tartus, and were carried out by a couple of Russian bombers. It was not clear if the strikes targeted ISIS, al Kuwait or other forces opposed to Assad, who Moscow is aiding, according to a Twitter handle belonging to the Syrian government, the Russia strikes were initiated as the request of Assad. Now let's go over to a PSA. So a bunch of scientists from a company called Carbon 3D just introduced a totally new kind of 3D printing. They were actually inspired to make it from the movie Terminator 2. Conventional 3D printing involves a printing head that passes over and over across a platform, depositing a thin layer of material each time. And this 3D printing forms an object continuously out of a liquid resin. So what's happening here is you have a bath of liquid resin that solidifies when light hits it. So the platform dips into this resin, and as it rises up, you have a projector underneath the resin pool that's projecting a series of cross-sectional images that are in the exact shape of the object you want to make. So as the platform slowly moves upwards, the projector moves through the different images, the different cross sections, and that causes the object to form in the shape you want. Wherever there's ultraviolet light hitting it, that's where the plastic solidifies. So this could be a big deal because it's a lot faster than conventional 3D printers. It works in minutes instead of hours. Right now, 3D printing is still kind of a niche industry. Uh, people use it to make models or prototypes, but if this new 3D printer can be perfected, it could be possible for it to be used to make mass-produced goods. A California man who aimed a laser pointer at a law enforcement helicopter has been sentenced by a federal judge to nearly two years in prison. Barry Lee Bowser, 52, received a 21-month sentence Tuesday. He had faced upwards of five years in prison and a $2,500 charge. Fine, after a jury convicted him in July of aiming the beam of a laser pointer at an aircraft. The pilot experienced flash blindness and eye discomfort that lasted for several hours and was forced to end his mission early. Now that's all for National, let's go on to sports. <laughs> Hey guys, here's a look at today's sports report. There is no sports today, but there is a, Friday, a game Friday against Lookout Valley, and it's homecoming. If you have any pictures or videos from any of the games you'd like to share, send them to our email. That's all for sports. Let's go over to our new segment. Good 
Good morning, everybody. Today for lunch in line one, we are going to be having chili pie ch chips, shredded cheese, work, work, fruit and milk. In line two, we're going to be having Salisbury steak, cream potatoes, steamed broccoli, rolls, fruit, fresh fruit and milk. And tomorrow for breakfast is sausage, biscuit and gravy, fruit, juice and milk. And line two is tenderloin biscuit and gravy, fruit, juice and milk. Fun fact for today, since it is the first day of Halloween. Did you know that the film Halloween was originally set in a town of Haydenfield, Illinois? That's all for lunch. Let's go to the local with Aiden. Kathy Stewart is now the mayor of Copper Hill and Tara Atkins has been appointed to the council. Former Mayor Eric Waters has resigned and the Copper Hill City Police Department has been officially dissolved. The Copper Hill City Councilman, Monday, September 21, 2015. All members were, pre were present with the exception of Alderman Bill Stanridge and Alderman Robbie Payne. Items on the agenda included the swearing in of two city officials, dispatch contract, sheriff's contract, the sewer plant project, and a discussion over city codes enforcement. That's all for local, now to our sponsors. Experience and skill. You either have it or you don't, especially when you're looking at beginning a career. Many employers are looking for hands-on experience. If you don't have it, you don't have a chance. The Army can give you that essential first opportunity. As the largest employer of people your age, we're the best place to get valuable hands-on training while you get paid for it. The Army takes recruits with limited experience and guarantees in writing that you'll be trained in the specialty of your choice, as long as there's an opening and you qualify. The Army guarantees training in more than 150 specialties, such as aviation, computers, the medical and veterinary fields, combat arms, and communications, just to name a few. The Army provides complete training from beginning to end. After basic combat training, you'll receive advanced individual training specialized to the skills in your area. Depending on your specialty, your training could last from one month to more than a year. In that time, you'll enjoy challenging classroom and field hands-on training in a real work situation. When you enlist, you'll join the Army with a legally binding contract of commitment. That means the Army guarantees to invest time and money in you from the day you meet your recruiter. In return, you'll agree to fulfill your contract. The result is invaluable, no matter what training you choose. You acquire the leadership, experience, and military training skills you need to start your career in the civilian workforce in whatever field you choose. The Army can guarantee you training providing you qualify and a vacancy exists and will put it in writing. Gain the skills and experience you need when you make a commitment to be a soldier in the United States Army. The nine weeks test will be October 9th and fall break is the 12th through the 16th. Today is Throwback Thursday and tomorrow is Red and Gray Day so support your Cougars and dress up for Red and Gray Day because and plus we are seniors. This is our last year to do Spirit Week. Dress yeah. up. I never dressed up before. I'm good. I'm not going to regret it. We now have an email for any teachers or coach that would like to give us information to report. Birthdays today are Kayla Forsyth. Happy birthday. That's all we have for today's show. We'll see you tomorrow on CBTV News and 9.